I am 19 years old and I know better than to do anything with a 13 year old minor. My career is set on minors. I have little kids that look up to me on a daily basis. Welcome to the Zoe Laverne Files. It's really disappointing on how few people are actually talking about this. This needs to be a bigger story, but rather the internet's been focused on Charlie Armadillo sitting at a dinner table and being disrespectful. Yes, a 16 year old at a dinner table being disrespectful. whoop de pickle do. How about we focus on real problems, real influencers doing actual bad things, which is why we're discussing Zoe Laverne, because she's is a creator here on YouTube with over 17 million TikTok followers, and she gets millions and millions of views per video. And this year, she started making a YouTube channel with about half a million subscribers. Zoe Laverne got in some heat because people found out that she was in love and had a relationship with a 13 year old fan of hers. And Zoe Laverne is 19, almost 20 years of age. Can you just imagine for a split second if this was a 19 year old man being best friends and falling in love with a 13 year old girl? The internet wouldn't treat that very well now, would they? No, of course not. But hey, you know, female predators. Anytime you see a headline of a teacher taking advantage of a student, male or female who's younger, that female always seems to get a quite a lot less sentence for taking advantage of a student. So my question right off the bat is, why do we do this? Treat female predators who actually take advantage of boys or girls, why is it looked upon differently? It shouldn't. Predators hold no gender. We need to acknowledge this. So what started all this stuff is Zoe was found kissing a 13 year old fan. That video was leaked on the internet. And we all know how the internet is receptive to things like this. People started giving their opinions, saying this is wrong. Why is an almost 20 year old girl having a relationship, much less kissing a young kid, a literal child? You know what's really crazy is that when I was 13 years old, this was me. I was around a ping pong table playing Halo with all of my homeschooled religious friends. Friends do that. They catch feelings for each other. Yes, the, the age is a bad thing. Yes, it's wrong. Yes, it's not good. And we both realized that and we stopped because we didn't want to get this out of proportion. We didn't want this to happen. Zoe, 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 Zoe. First of all, there is no W, whoop, E. That doesn't exist here. That word we, there's only actually you. Because when there is a, a, an influx of a massive age gap in between a 19 year old and a 13 year old, and you pull him into this situation by using the word we, making a 13 year old victim as if somehow he's also responsible for this situation. And the thing is, Connor, the 13 year old boy, he's not. He's not responsible in any way. It's not his fault in any way. But you, Zoe, have pulled him into the public spotlight and created a cesspool of insanity around the mental health and the this kid who you should never have been involved with because he's 13 years of age. You know, like a 13-year-old, a 13-year-old can't consent to an actual relationship, much less in a physical way, when it comes to somebody who is so much older than them. As you guys all know, uh, some stuff got leaked about me and Connor, and I just wanted to come on live and tell y'all the truth, and tell y'all that, like, a lot of people are making this out to be something that it's not, and making it to be worse than it seems, um, by calling me a groomer and everything. So, I didn't groom Connor, not, like, wouldn't do that to him, literally love Connor to that. They wouldn't do anything to Connor ever without consent. Connor and I both consented to kissing that was how it went. We both liked each other and then we realized that the ages were too different. Nothing happened between us besides kissing and I have, I'm saying that now, like I'm really sick of people thinking that we did other stuff besides kiss. It's It stopped months ago. It hasn't been a thing for a while now. Connor and I don't have communication right now due to our parents both agreeing to cut our contact and give us both time to heal and from social media because social media is very toxic to us right now. Um, and we're both just kind of hurting. We're trying to like laugh off the situation. We were moving on from it and just like going separate ways, um, breaking contacts just to move on from it. And then the videos got leaked and it became a bigger issue and it became something that it wasn't supposed to be. And because social media is so toxic nowadays and because people like to put their little noses into other people's business, it makes it worse than it needs to be. So I'm here to tell you guys right now that this all was dragged out of proportion and put into something that it was not. People have so many rumors going around saying different things and it's none of the stuff that people are saying is true. I didn't groom Connor, I wouldn't do that. He's a kid and I'm aware of that. And it just happened we both were in a dark place when we first like became friends and we both just ended up catching feelings for each other. And friends do that, they catch feelings for each other. That's not a bad thing. Yes, this, the age is a bad thing. Yes, it's wrong. Yes, it's not good. And we both realized that and we stopped. Look, Zoe, you're not gonna blame a 13 year old for something that you started, you created, and the adult put themselves into. It doesn't work that way. Of course, Zoe then uploaded a TikTok video being oh so disingenuous. <laughs> me, me coming back to TikTok after I got canceled for the hundredth time. Legitimately mocking everybody who says this is wrong, why this is a problem. You've been exposed for doing something really, really screwed up, but it doesn't stop there. 
guys. This girl's a pathological liar, because that's what she does. She lies all of the time. I mean, just I went to her YouTube channel, and this is, this is something that I found here, which I find is so weird and ironic. Anyways, so I screenshotted the best questions to use in this video, and I'm going to be answering these questions with 110% honesty. Honesty. When you have one lie at the bottom, and then you make another one, another one, another one, another one, eventually it's gonna get really high. It's a stack of lies. And eventually it's gonna get wobbly, and it's gonna go bump. There's no lie. The one that started it all is gonna have a big old crack and that crack will be wedged with eventual truth. So Zoe, it's probably best just to tell the truth and be honest and upfront. They'd love to have a child. Not right now, I'm too young. I want to experience like life without a child right now. You're too young? What about that 13 year old boy? Yeah, I just love my fandom and I can't picture me leaving them. I think that would be a really messed up thing for me to do anyways, because I'd be hurting a lot of kids. I'd be hurting a lot of kids. What about realizing that a 13 year old cannot consent to a relationship with an adult, and whether you acknowledge it or not, there is damage done to that 13-year-old boy. For the love of Christ, please don't take anything this girl says actually serious. Do not trust this person. She's insincere, she's not genuine, and she's disingenuous. The way that she responds to people who are actually saying why this is a problem, and she, I don't know if it's just choosing to be naive, or choosing to be ignorant, or just ignorant, naive, and stupid, you know, you can have all three of those things. They're not all mutually exclusive, but whatever it is, it doesn't seem to click in her small brain, the real problem here. And that's why I'm responding. In this situation, considering you as influencers know how bad it hurts to be hated and get loads of hate every day and you know how it makes you feel. To come at me for my actions and my decisions in life isn't always the best way to go. Because if anybody knows what it feels like to get hate, it is other influencers. Instead of putting me down for my choices and my mistakes that I've made in life, try to just tell me what I did wrong. That's what the internet is trying to do right now. You've admitted to kissing a 13-year-old boy. You've admitted to catching feelings for him. I was in a dark place. He's a kid and I'm aware of that and it just happened we both were in a dark place when we first like became friends and we both just ended up catching feelings for each other. And friends do that, they catch feelings for each other. That's not a bad thing. Yes, this, the age is a bad thing. Yes, it's wrong. Yes, it's not good. And we both realized that and we stopped. Don't you just love the whole, I was in a dark place, therefore that's why I hurt children? Zoe, 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 it doesn't work that way. You can't use dark place, feeling lonely, sad, depression, whatever that ever, whatever that means. Cause that's what interprets, when you say dark place, I think of somebody being really sad and then, you know, they're sad and lonely and they're depressed and then they go hurt a child and bring a child into a relationship that they're not able to consent to. The fact that you, Zoe, literally sit there and say it was consensual, that's the problem. A 13 year old cannot consent to that act. You kissed a 13 year old, you're in bed with a 13 year old. There's video of you in bed with this 13 year old laying in bed. You mentioned people are blowing it out of proportion, but I don't really know how you can expect People not to blow something out of proportion when you're in bed with a 13 year old and you're kissing them and there's video evidence of this. The problem is is that originally you lied about what was really going on and as stuff came out more and more and more and video was surfaced, this level of backpedaling using terms like we, dark place, we develop feelings for each other. Nobody develops feelings for a 13 year old. Hell, I've had minors reach out to me and I'm always a really big asshole. Like I'm mean to anybody who's underage for the most part. Like I don't even wanna to talk to people who are that young. Their brain isn't even mentally developed and this is what we're dealing with here. You have a 19 year old girl, a 13 year old boy. Science backs this up, but like maturity wise, 13 and 20 is a huge brain difference. Maturity difference. The 13 year old boy doesn't comprehend, much less know the effect that this type of relationship, much less grooming from a female predator, can have an effect on him. One of the most dangerous and disgusting things you commonly see in this, especially when it deals with a young boy or a man that deals with any sort of abuse or somebody older than them taking advantage of them, especially if it's a female predator, is you get weirdos on the social media saying, like, well, he's a boy, he was 13, he probably liked it. Oh, he's a boy, you know, it's okay because that's what he wanted. Oh, he's a boy, you know, he got turned on as a 13 year old old boy, therefore it's okay. No, 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 no. That is disgusting. And if you're one of those disgusting people who actually says things like that, it doesn't work that way. And the thing is, is that young boys, spe specifically males, who are taught to repress their emotions, hold everything in, not talk about anything that they're going through, 
This has a long life consequence later in life. You know why I can talk about this? Because I've had it happen. I know what it's like to be a 60 year old boy and have somebody actually take advantage of you. And then when they take advantage of you in an abusive way, they try to blame you saying that you're the problem. That they took advantage of you. And then if you talk about your experience in any possible way, that they're going to threaten to destroy the rest of your life. That's what predators do. They harm and hurt somebody. They take advantage of somebody who's very young and impressionable, a 13 year old. And then they reverse the situation and blame the person who they victimized. And whether Zoe acknowledges it or not, but when using phrases like, we, we, that's putting Connor in a situation where he has to automatically take responsibility for a situation that he didn't create. You did, Zoe. And that's not how that works. So after she admitted she was in a dark place, had feelings, and kissed and was in bed with this 13 year old, she makes another intelligent post on TikTok. Y'all want an apology from me, but then when I do, you're still upset. I get it, I do, but make up your mind, please. You wanted the minor side, and then when they had, he addresses the truth, you say, not the child talking, y'all don't make sense. This isn't anybody's business but mine. My family's Connor's and his family. Let it go. Zoe, you don't just get to tell people to let it go when you're harming a child. What don't you understand about that? And it doesn't even stop there because when Connor, the 13 year old boy was doing a live stream, what does Zoe do? She pops in his live stream and she says, I hope you're doing well. I miss you lots. Yeah, because that's not creepy at all, Zoe. Telling a 13 year old who you've been caught doing inappropriate things with, telling them publicly on a live stream that you miss them. And you still think that we are blowing things out of proportion? I think not. But what happens when you have dumb and then you get dumber? You get Zoe's mom on camera. Don't cry. It's okay. Shut, shut it off. She wants to say hi to her fans. Say hi to them, Zoe. Hi guys. And don't believe everything you hear. This actually frustrates me a lot. The mom's on camera. Don't believe everything you hear. You're right. I'm not believing everything I hear. I'm believing what I see. And quite frankly, what I see is way more of an issue than what I hear. Because hearing things can be speculation, rumors, allegations, blah, 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 blah. Who cares about what you hear? It's about what you see. It's about evidence. It's about what's factual. Your daughter is admitting to kissing the 13 year old. Your daughter is admitting to developing feelings. Your daughter is admitting to being in a dark place. Your daughter is admitting that she's victim blaming a 13 year old using we. Your daughter is a predator, plain and simple. But let's get on camera and cry some more because clearly that's gonna bring in all the, you know, self pity points. Furthermore, messages got leaked by Zoe's ex. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hope this all stays between you and me because I genuinely don't know what else to do. I left because of her interaction with Connor. They got very intense and it's something I would not stand by ever. I had told Zoe that if she stopped and minimized contact with him, that it would be, she wouldn't have to lose me as a friend and it wouldn't have to come to that. So he changed, so she changed her story and said that she was joking about the things with Connor, but I knew at that point she was lying and they both were lying. Connor reached out to me a few times apologizing about lying and that he knows I don't deserve to be lied to, and he assured me that they stopped, but Dawson just reached out to me yesterday, and they said that things still haven't stopped. I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was going through a lot, and I really just wanted to find happiness, and I really just wanted to be happy, and Connor was my best friend, still is, even though we can't talk. He's still my best friend, and he made me happy in many different ways, and I made him happy in many different ways. No, this is disgusting. He made me happy in so many different ways. This is predatory. Do you not realize, like, I, I, you know, all jokes aside, me being, like, enthusiastic and, like, blah, 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 to the camera, this is serious. This is predatory. Like, for, for her to get on camera and say this publicly in a live stream with thousands upon thousands of other people watching, this actually normalizes, people who look up to this disingenuous dipwit, normalizes that this type of behavior that she's doing with a 13 year old boy is somehow okay. This is gross, it is wrong, it's disgusting, it's disturbing. And in no way would this ever be tolerated if it was a 19, 20 year old man with a 13 year old girl. So then why is this not a bigger issue because it's a girl? This is a serious, problem. This TikToker is a predator who doesn't care about anything she does or says and blames any sort of criticism towards her way of why this is wrong as being hateful. And I'm revolted. It's, it's, this is, this enrages me. This actually triggers me because so few people seem to really give a rat's f about this situation. And what's worse is like Connor got on a live stream trying to explain his side and stuff. It's like, no kid, you're a child. You shouldn't have to be in the spotlight like this, trying to explain or justify or 
or apologize to people for a situation the adult put you in. I don't like this girl. Anybody who's watching this video should stay away from her. She shouldn't have a fan base with this many people, especially giving her past record of how recent this is much less not being able to acknowledge the real issue that a 13-year-old can never consent, but she's managed to manipulate a 13-year-old into thinking that he can, and that's the problem.